I'm not convinced that James Jones ever planned to do much this offseason. We heard at the end of the year the talk about internal development and those things. I We don't even know how much they were in on KD because if you believe things at face value – in the reports we've heard, they weren't even willing to add Cam Johnson in an offer from what we heard. Like, it doesn't make any sense. If they offered him a four-year, $70 million deal, clearly you don't place as much value on Cam Johnson well, as other people around the league do. So the I, those two just don't match up on. to me. I think this is where the ownership stuff may come into play. We don't know... We don't know what the stance was on what James Jones could spend. I know they talked, oh, you can spend whatever you want. History tells us that was bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so we don't even know who was calling the shots on what they could offer. James Jones very well may have valued Cam Johnson a lot more than he was greenlit to offer Cam Johnson. So I, I don't know. I just You look at things, and to me, I'm like, I'm not sure that James Jones – ever planned on doing anything major this offseason it's possible but i think it's just the simple truth of like if kevin durant says that he wants to come to your team you put all your eggs in that basket and i think the suns did and i think james jones's biggest failing was not getting across that finish line because then by that point all the meaningful free agents were gone that he could have used that mid-level exception on and so now they're left kind of picking at scraps and I think he did a decent job like getting Damian Lee on a veteran contract that's good trading basically just cash for Jock Landale another good move but obviously no needle movers in that group they needed to get KD because that's where all their attention was and they didn't and now they were kind of left holding the bag and to be fair I don't fault the thinking I just think if you're going to do that, you have to wind up with that guy because their depth is suffering yeah, for they, it now. They didn't have a backup plan. That's the thing that bothers me is like they right. didn't have a plan B or C or D from what we can tell. So mm -hmm. they they basically settled with the plan fucking Y mm -hmm. and got, you know, again, the, the Landale thing has worked out so far. Mm -hmm. um, he's struggled the last couple of games, but I'm sure he's going to bounce back. Mm -hmm. And outside of that, what have we done? Right. You know, well, we got some guys at the end of the bench that haven't even played barely at all. 